Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Ghost of Tsushima. Um, and uh, before we begin, um, I had a few minor complaints about like um, disturbing the disrupting the flow of the gameplay with my uh, constant going into like uh, the me menu for like you know changing gears and everything. So I decided to do a little bit of grinding. Um, a little bit of grinding before uh, before I hit the record button today. So this is gonna be the last time I'm probably gonna show you this, but um, nothing's really changed. I just I just uh, had some flowers that I spent, and then I just uh, upgraded the armor a little bit, um, and that's it. That's the update, and we are going to continue from last time. On our previous episode, we uh, rescued I guess the people of Komatsu Forge, and then. Uh, we're gonna today. I think, as promised, we're gonna handle the tale of Ryozo. Let's see what we can do uh, to help him, and uh, just wait, I guess, for for uh, what's his face, uh, Taka, to contact us to let us know that the stuff that he uh, he's forging for us right now is ready. I guess. Um, oh, and I also uh, swapped my buttons uh, for the dodge from uh, alt to middle mouse and the middle mouse button being focused to alt. So hopefully that'll help with the combat too. Hopefully. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's that's all the all the news, <laughs> I guess. Uh, managed to hunt some, uh, you know, odd bears and pigs here and there. Where am I going? Am I going this way? Okay. But yeah, tell me, let me know if, if that was the right decision, guys. Um, if you want everything to be on camera, I will do that. I intended to do, intended to do that in the first place. Um, but if it's, if this is a welcome change where, like, I do... Most of my like upgrade stuff, inventory management offline, like um, uh, you know, off the record, so to say, uh, I can do that too. Um, yeah, but without further ado, let's just. Uh, I see some Mongols. I see some Mongols. Can I do some target practice before I do the stand standoff? Oh. Also, I'm definitely using the wrong... Did I get him? Oh, he got me. Alright. Okay, clearly not working. Brain's a little bit confused on the button there. Come on. No, oh, you're gonna die. That was a little bit of a waste of an arrow or two, but hey. Are you dead yet? <laughs> I can wait. Alright, let's be on our way. Um, I'm also uh, trying to, like, um, I'm very nervous. Oh. Oh. I'm very nervous about my audio settings and everything. Um, so I'm trying to, s sh like, finagle. Oh, I see some pigs. Uh, like, uh, figure out the right settings. So my audio might 
be a little, you know, all over the place for a little uh, few days starting today. And I apologize in advance. Again, I'm just learning. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Got him. How many hours do I have? None. Oh, no. I'm going to have to go get more soon. Aha! More people to practice. Looking for me? Oh, and it's the blue shirts. Uh, this isn't good. Okay, thank God. Oh, Come on, man. I'm just trying to get my sword to stay clean. There's a person there. Hello? Susano, protect me. Dead bodies. What the heck? What happened here? Who killed these people? A fearsome warrior. He demanded I tell him the tale of Shigenori's heavenly strike. When he didn't hear the answers he sought, he flew into a rage and butchered them. What did he want to know? I am not sure, my lord. Tell me the story. I need to know what he's after. Yes, please. I want to hear this tale. When Tsushima was first settled, a strange and terrible thunderstorm swept across our island. Wherever lightning struck, beasts of lightning appeared. These violent creatures tore through villages, causing death and destruction, moving too quickly to be stopped. The people knew only one man who could possibly stand against the lightning beasts. Shigenori, the fastest swordsman in all of Tsushima. Shigenori never lost a duel. With years of practice, he had created the Heavenly Strike, an attack that struck quicker than the eye could follow. Shigenori lured the creatures to a desolate beach in Komatsu, where the sand would slow their movement. Their clash turned the sand to ash and bleached the leaves of trees white. Shigenori's heavenly strike cut through them faster than they could move. As the final beast fell, the storm cleared, and Tsushima was safe again. Wow. Shigenori began a life of seclusion. Few students found him, and only the bravest and most skilled proved worthy of learning the heavenly strike. When a storm approaches, a sword is placed at Shigenori's rest by a student who knows of its location to ward off attacks from beasts of nature. What a cool Murderer story. wishes to learn Shigenori's heavenly strike. It sounds dangerous in the wrong hands. Which way did he go? A woman fled toward a nearby bridge. He chased her. He'll answer for what he did here. Alright, Nobu, let's go find that woman. That's the bridge the musician mentioned. Someone weeping. Where? 
My lord, so what? many <laughs> what? slaughtered. Did you see the man who killed them? I know who he is. Yasuhira Koga. I've heard the name. He fought for the Yarikoa clan. Would you recognize him? I'll never forget that leering face. Follow me. Perhaps I can pick up his trail on the other side of the bridge. Horse tracks. Yasuhira was in a hurry. Mm -hmm. What more do you know of Yasuhira Koga? Only that he was a retainer for the Yarikawa clan years ago. After the rebellion was crushed, the clan was dissolved and retainers dismissed. Rumor says he left Tsushima, but when the Mongols attack, he returned. From where, I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. He cannot be allowed to live after what he's done. Mm, maybe he's back to fight f against the Mongols? Maybe he's here to save the homeland? Maybe he could be a valued ally or something? We shouldn't be too quick to judge. Up ahead, they're constructing a roadblock. Oh. Mongols, hide yourself. Oh, immediately I see an archer. Anybody left? No? Any arrows? I'll take that. I don't see Yasuhira Koga anywhere. We're pursuing a man named Yasuhira Koga. He just left. He's been staying in the watchtower. Working with the Mongols? Yes. But last night they oh. argued. Only made out one word. Chigenori. I'll search the watchtower. Find somewhere safe before more Mongols come. My bad. I was totally wrong. Okay, this guy's a traitor. Got it. Now, where did that archer fall? Or is his body already disappeared? I think it's already disappeared, which is unfortunate. I was hoping to get some arrows or something. What has Yasuhira been doing? The Mongols have their own version of Shigenori's tale. Maybe he wanted to compare it to the musician's version. Mm. White leaves, like those bleached by lightning in the tail. The dueling ring. He's looking for it. Anything up here? Nothing. Nothing. All right, let's get down, down to business. Yasuhira is looking for someone who can teach him Shigenori's heavenly strike. The white leaves. There are trees like that not far from here. That's where he went. You've helped enough. Get to safety with the others. Thank you, my lord. I hope you punish that monster. 
I intend to. Need if to he's really a traitor. Trees. Oh yes, arrows. Give me more, give me more. Just just eight though? That's disappointing. But I got some heavy arrows, so maybe I shouldn't complain. It's somewhere up here, apparently. Plum Blossom Shrine. Isn't that the... Yeah, this is the first shrine that we found. With the with the Shrine Maiden and everything. And, and we found a guy that committed suicide up there. I'm pretty sure this is it. This, this all feels very familiar. Right after this, we're gonna get to the burning, burn, burning bridge or something, like the remains of the burning bridge. Yep. See. Oh! Oh! No! 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 I am glad that this isn't Hell Divers. Hell Divers Two, to be perfectly clear. See, this is where we got like Amatsu, Amaterasu's, Amatsu, that's me, Amaterasu's, like, what do you call those, like Blessing or something. <gasps> and that's white tree, that's a white tree. That was a rough landing. Is something here? Yasuhira must have gathered leaves from here. Aha! Uh -huh. There it is. White leaves, like those bleached by lightning in the tail. Yeah, so you must be somewhere around there. Oh yeah, I just realized we were supposed to help Kenji too. Yuna's friend, the trader, and the sake maker. I forgot about that. Well, we'll see uh, how long this takes. Okay, we got some dead villagers. Oh. Come here, my lovelies. I want to make bacon. Oh. What? Hey, another upgrade is available, and I am not going to do it on camera, if that's okay with you guys. Again, let me know, guys, if, if that's a good decision on my part. Oh. I told him everything I know. Someone's being tortured. two three four and then there's someone behind the house I, I know that much um,
He can stay like that. I'm not... I haven't been very good with my archery today. Which, uh... Enemies nearby. Oh. Perfect. Right, since the music's drowned out, I'm guessing it's safe now. Yep. All right, what do you know? Who are you? was a man named Yasuhiro with these Mongols. Mm. He wanted to learn the heavenly strike from my grandfather and took him away. Your grandfather's in danger. Where did they go? His old training ground. A dueling ring on the Komatsu coast. Please, <laughs> save him. You got it. Oh, he had some arrows. Nice. Okay. Guiding wind is telling me to go this way. So Yasuhira cannot learn the heavenly strike. Yeah, what a bastard though. Coming back home just to like side with the invaders. Just so he can learn some some trick. I mean, it's a technique, I'm sorry, but, yeah. Man. Some heavy storm. Oh. Oh. Me. Oh, that was brutal. Yasuhira cannot learn the heavenly strike. Oh no. I failed. I messed up. I failed that one villager. He's probably dead now. Tree down in order to cross. Oh, Yasuhira brought Mongols with him. Can I do something stupid? What is going on with my aim today? All right, let's just go do the melee way.
That must be Shigenori's dueling ring. What has Yasuhira been doing? Poor man. That must be the grandfather. Blade has seen many duels. Footprints. Still fresh. Oh. There he is. The bastard. Yasuhira Koga. The butcher of the rebellion. Time hasn't changed you. You were a child when Yorikawa burned, boy. For 15 years, I dreamed of cutting Lord Shimura to the bone. You won't live long enough to face him. The old man taught me the legendary attack before I killed him. Let me show you. Yeah, show me what you got. Waiting for for me. Not waiting. Studying. Learning. Save you. You deserve greater respect than this. I promise I'll use Shigenori's technique to protect Tsushima against all who would harm it. Cool. What is this for? Oh! That looks cool. Where is it? There's one. All right. I'll I'll keep it. I'll keep it. That looks cool. All right. Um. Yeah, we learned a cool new technique, and we learned about uh, Shigenori, the the legendary samurai today. And I think, uh, yeah, I think this is gonna be it for today. I'm gonna try and f see how a short form video like this with a tail each or like, you know, like a mission each performs. See if you like, uh, if you guys like the uh, shorter form instead of the hour long videos. Um, but yeah, this has been Ghost of Tsushima and I am Amatsuryu and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye bye.